Yeah, uh, mostly inside the prison, uh, the 26 gang, you find that uh, they are the ones that uh, are selling weed and drugs because of their, the person's their initiation. They tell you about them uh, uh, working with money. Most of the time uh, they use uh, money or they could be using cigarettes or positions in exchange of goods, depending on what type of position you have. It can be clothing, it can be food, it can be anything that shows off a, a good expense that they can even trade with, because sometimes they even trade in with waters. When it comes to trading with waters, uh, it needs, it's going to be needing maybe even money or other than property. You are able to get uh, the 28s, maybe they are cutting that if you are in need of a time maybe or a cell phone to call your family, then they are cutting such operations. There are even uh, uh, operations that uh, leave maybe, I would say, uh, 24 because of the uh, people who uh, don't stand still and they are always on the move. And then there are the ones who are passing out the informations inside. Maybe someone bought a cigarette, but then he cannot deliver it to the next cell. But then when a 24 uh, passes by and he's able to communicate in the same language, in the prison language inside, then he's able to pass him the cigarettes or the goods that they have been bought on the next cell. And then he, when he's passing by, maybe during cleaning time, because of he was already given the money or even the possessions to buy that goods, and then the 24 is gonna pass uh, the goods to the other cell. When he passes by in times of cleaning the passages or the corridors or even cleaning their cells, each and every group has their own uh, job that they do depending on who is sending them, depending on a uh, prison point, whether the prison point, uh, the higher uh, boss or a higher person who's holding, could be a 28 gang that's holding the area, their territory. It's not something that is permitted by the warders, but it is something that is permitted because of a uh, territory and gang fear. If other gangs are in fear of 28, must mean 28 is the strongest territory in that prison. If other gangs are afraid of 26, 26 must be a higher uh, prison territory in their position. So they are the ones who uh, control the couriers who are carrying uh, the possessions that have been sold to the next uh, cell. Could be cigarettes, it could be weed, it could be drugs, it could be any type of a thing. And then because of there are always searches uh, by the warders, that's why there comes a point whereby uh, 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 mostly they hide it uh, in far off places. Yes, I did join a gang in prison. Uh, I joined the group, uh, the 24 gang. They call themselves To Die For. Uh, I joined them because of uh, the first protection I needed because of our, mostly when we enter into prison, we are all afraid because of we know not of the conditions, we know not of the treatment. There might be a good treatment towards uh, the warders, but when it comes to the inmates, it's a very difficult uh, situation because of there comes a point of lockdown where we are now separated from the warders and they are busy up front. Uh, there comes a point where windows have to be opened for them to smoke. Uh, windows uh, are the points of communication, more like you say it's a cell phone, but mostly they would be screaming to the other cell, talking to the other individual. I joined the, the 24th game because of uh, they, they kept us safe. Uh, we, I didn't meet up with the, because there are even church groups that are in prison. So you are able to be invited by the Muslims to come and join them or be amongst them, or it could be, it depends on what type of a church was inviting. It could be a Christian church, uh, inmates who are Christians inside the prison. So it depends on who you're going to meet up with first. So we came from outside before we were arrested. A few of our friends, one of his brother was an inmate, the 26th gang, and then he had a friend in the 24th group. So he said, 
when you get inside, if you are going to look for protection, look for protection from the group uh, to die for because of they are the ones who are going to keep you safe. They know my name, they know my tattoo. Once you say my name and my tattoo, you'll be under my umbrella, my um, protection, and then they'll be protecting you under the circumstances that you, you mention my name and you mention which position I hold in the 26 gang. Yes, uh, a person can survive in a prison without joining a gang only if you uh, access the options that you are given either by the warders, either by the first uh, a good group that you meet up with because of by the warders, the warders will give you the encouragement to either join a, a, there's maybe there's a reading group, there's a school group or there's a, a therapy sessions that have been uh, attended to. But then when it comes to being in the rooms, some of the things you might not uh, survive from, like uh, there's going to be smokers, will be passive smoking, even though you are not a smoker. Uh, there are going to be riots. Uh, anyone is going to be fighting with anyone and then you're going to be endangered because of you are hanging around, uh, depending whether you are hanging around the 26 and the 26 are fighting against maybe the 28 or the big five. Uh, it's a two-way chance. It's a 50-50 point of surviving in prison. It depends on how you behave, your behavioral patterns, and how the warders uh, hear you out whenever you make or bring forth a, a, a cry. Uh, sometimes you bring forth a cry and then find out that maybe they don't take you serious, but uh, because of there are no witnesses that can uh, elaborate upon your story that yes, we did see him getting beat up by the other group or we did see him getting uh, attacked by the other group. Whether uh, because of there are no knives that are entering in prison, but there are many things that can be turned into weapons. For instance, they are able to fail a toothbrush and it turns into a knife. They are able to use a lot of uh, different things, maybe suffocate a person with a blanket over the night. You're thinking we are asleep instead, others are picking up their blankets or their pillows so that they can attack the other group. To, when someone is suffocated, uh, it's something that has no uh, evidence that who killed that person or who attacked that person. So it's never uh, easy to say that you are able to survive without joining a gang, but only depends on how you're going to behave or what type of a, a, a prison point that you were put by, uh, even the territory that you are in around the cells that you are chosen for by the warders. Yeah, uh, there is a, a, a point of being said with the Ukshayum Teto. Ukshayum Teto, you identify your fellow inmates or your fellow gang uh, members. Uh, there comes a time, uh, for example, uh, there is a, a name that says Unto Tom Popo. Uh, Unto Tom Popo is someone who is going to be uh, picking up information with eyesight saying uh, to his gang members, uh, I did saw who, who selling a bit of weed. I know who's got the cigarettes. Untoto uh, Nyazi is a leader of the gang in the 26. Yeah. And then in the 28, mostly Umakewa, who is the, the father of all uh, the numbers. So, Uwakumteto, Umteto Uguti, Uwanigezelwa. Uh, from Lababatala, Lomteto. Lomteto. Uh, most of the time it's like a poetry, but then the poetry, inside the poetry, each and every word that is being said identifies your position, the type of work you do, like Untoto Bova, Uskamla Maketane. It's mostly trusted that whenever uh, we cannot penetrate from such a point, so is a poem, but then a poem that represents your position and the type of job that you do. And even your tattoos, they speak for you and identify what type of a, a individual, how you were initiated and when you are initiated, uh, what are the rules that you are given that you should uh, avoid when you are inside and even when you are an outmate.
it's not something that ends inside the prison, but it even continues when you are outside. Uh, the advantage and the disadvantages of joining a gang are similar is in 50-50, meaning uh, you are able to have an advantage because of the protection they are going to provide for you, the safety of you having food, but maybe food that is not present by the other inmate because of they will have cookers who are inmates, we have uh, cleaners who are inmates, and then having the advantage of being protected by your gang, you are able to be sure whether you are safe, whether you are not going to be given food that is poison. The warders might not know that the food is poison, but because of there was a, a heat that, that was sent by the other gang that uh, or we cannot penetrate that gang because of they have that individual. Rather, do this, this, and then once he goes to the in, uh, the clinic side, uh, how would you say, the infant, infantry, where most of the time uh, they heal your wounds after an attack, uh, is a, another advantage. And a disadvantage most of the time is because of uh, when you are initiating a, a new inmate, it's possible that that inmate might pass away because of the type of initiation that is receiving because sometimes they use a, a, an all-star shoe for your 24 hits. Uh, sometimes uh, you have to commit maybe 24 acts so that you might be fully initiated into uh, the gang that you are deciding to join. So mostly I would say it is, there is a very high disadvantage when it comes to surviving in prison while you are in a gangster because of it, your even increase uh, your prison sentence because of when you are in the 28 group having to spill someone's blood or having to take someone's life once the uh, warders uh, find out that you are the one who killed that person or who stabbed him then having to go to trial for that individual that you stabbed then your prison sentence becomes increased because of uh, the one thing that you did when you are being initiated into your gang it's a very disadvantage uh, to be in prison, uh, whether you are in a gang or we out of it. Because of once you become initiated, uh, your initiation rules are the ones that are uh, endangering you, endangering your chances of having to stay a short while or a long while while you are in prison. Because of the behavioral patterns that are going to be done when it comes to being initiated in a gang. Yes, uh, prison gangs, uh, they are once were united gangs uh, because of uh, the first uh, initiators, the first people who were arrested in those times because of they were arrested for different crimes. They were once united, but then they were separated when it came to a point of identifying money in a prison, identifying uh, uh, trade points in a prison, so uh, it changes with time, it changes with the way their riots go about because of their territories are not uh, being led by the same prison numbers. Their territories are not being led by the, uh, the same prison sections. Uh, they, they sometimes the rough four and the rough three are the mostly united to each other because of rough four was the one who gave birth to Raftery. And then 26 uh, has a respect even for 27 because of 27 uh, was once a, a family member with them inside the prison. So mostly they had a higher uh, respect towards 27 because of uh, it's been said or it is not fully known who was the first number who had authority overall. And then Makeba, because of 28, he's uh, powerful because of his blood spill and his death-defying uh, behaviors. That's why he's able to unite or even cause a fight in prison. So it depends on the type of sections and points, or uh, even prison points, whether who is the high territory and who unites or even causes war inside the prison. It's not always war and riots, maybe for individuals to prove to each other, 
my number is much bigger than yours. I am much stronger than your position. It's mostly the little riots, but a massive riot between inmates only it has been caused whenever uh, maybe a gang leader was stabbed or maybe a gang leader was lost during such a riot and then they are vengeing or retaliating against the other group for a past mistake, past a riot or a past fight. Uh, yes, there is unity amongst them, but it is more secretive and it, it depends on the territories or even sections of the prisons, depending on how individuals uh, communicate with each other. And uh, mostly they like to say Big Five is a sellout because of whatever they communicate, they communicate in secret so that uh, the Big Five can might not hear or understand the operations uh, or even the trade points who's selling and who's not selling. You were, the only most time a uh, Big Five was separated from other numbers was because of the time when he was sharing information with prison warders. That's where other numbers pull back from that unity uh, as a group, even though different uh, prison gangs, prison numbers.